In terms of process, we, you know, we didn't set out with a kind of working method from the beginning, but, but we fell into one, which was that we did all our studio visits together, we did all our traveling together, and so, um, and we see, we, every artist that we considered we went and saw in person, we tried not to look at their work primarily online or, or not experience things in the here and now, and so that did set a pace and a rhythm to all our, to what we did all year long, and to how many visits we could do, and the visits tended to be long and kind of thoughtful conversations with all the artists, and so for us that, that and then the mutual decision making of each artist that would be in the show really set the tone for what the right. show would be. And I think we both didn't feel crazy mad about getting to every studio in America, looking at every category of artist, you know, such and such. I mean, I think we both felt a certain amount of, of restraint about um, what we could really do and do well, so we, we didn't have this frenzied quest, which is also often part of the biennial. And on the same line, I feel like we, did, we also didn't come into it with like a sort of burning desires for certain artists that we knew that had to be in the show. Yeah. It was like we were very open to reflect on what our shared experience would bring forward. Right, right. We've been quite open about that, that we um, didn't particularly want a lot of black boxes with, um, with video that that or film looped in them that we wanted that kind of experience to be in the theater to be truly durational to have beginning and end times for it because we had had the experience of kind of missing a lot of good artworks at various biennials around the world where we were just so rushed that we couldn't see the whole length and couldn't grasp the greatness of certain um, durational pieces so we wanted to keep that kind of experience um, to a minimum. Dealing with those different kinds of time register and viewing conditions set the tone for the structure of the show because we knew we wanted a strong film component so we worked with Thomas Beard and Ed Halter from Light Industry to curate that but we wanted that in a cinema tech which the Whitney has had a rich history of having cinema in biennials and so we kind of revitalized that and then for dance and theater you know, we have a museum, we don't have a big theater but we found, we created a scenario that would let there be very immersive focused moments but also more ambient moments and so it was important to kind of give each medium that we dealt with the kind of dignified reception that it should have.